Hello and welcome to this video on using the Aldeco Next app to access the Bibliothèque Numérique French language book collection through the Port Moody Public Library. Now I've already gone ahead and downloaded the Aldeco Next app and have it open and ready for the first time. Uh, you can find the app on the App Store for Apple devices and the Google Play Store for Android devices. So the first time you open the app, you'll be greeted with this uh, intro screen. So we just want to hit next to advance and it'll ask us to accept the terms of agreement and you can read through those, but I'm just going to hit accept to move things along. And you'll also be asked to create a feed books account. Now this you don't need to create because feed books is for purchasing uh, French language eBooks. But if you're just looking to borrow books through the library, then you don't need to create one of these accounts. So in the bottom of the screen, you can just hit skip. And after you've skipped that, it will now ask you to add a library. So we will want to do that by hitting add in the bottom of the screen. And it'll be given a list of different countries. So we just select Canada and the province of British Columbia. And then we just need to find Port Moody Public Library in this list. So we can just scroll down or use the search. I'm just going to scroll down until we get to Port Moody Public Library. And then just tap that option. At which point it will prompt us to enter our barcode and PIN. So I'm just going to do that. and then we can log in. If you'd like the app to give you notifications for things like when holds are available, you can hit allow, or if you don't want that, then you can hit don't allow. To get started to search for books in the library catalog, on the bottom of the screen, there'll be a little bar with options on it. We'll want to hit catalogs, which will give us the option of the feed books store that we decided to skip earlier, as well as the Port Moody Public Library catalog. So we just want to hit that purple rectangle there. And now we're able to search and borrow books just like we do on the website.